Hi guys and welcome to the channel, the most electrifying channel, the number one channel. It's the best, the greatest, the goodest, it's exceptional, it's brilliant, it is simply and it's always awesome. It is, you know it, it's the People's WWE Channel. I am the Jabroni Beating. Oh, pie eating. That's cool. Laying a smack down all their candy ass. He's delivering the rock bottom. Dropping the people's elbow. Raising that people's eyebrow. Walking tall, being cool on Gritty and Gang when you read Reno 911. It's a race to Witch Mountain and a race to Planet 51. Because I am, you know it. I am Rick the Rock. And as always, guys, because you guys are cool, you guys are awesome, and without you, this guy, this channel would not be possible. Lay a subscribe button down there at People's Light Month, comment and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Rick the Rock Pay, and me on Facebook, Richard J Pay. Go and check out all my other videos, comment and subscribe. Go and check out my Raw Squad review and live event review. Go and View and like my Facebook page, the People's WB page, Team Bring It. Whoop the candy ass of that like button and whoop the candy ass of that subscribe button. Because we are on the road to WWE. Fast. Lane. That is a WWE car, so I'll just show you. And this is the electrifying, the entertaining. You know it, it's a WWE, it is the SmackDown Review. Before I get into my review, I have watched last week's and this week's Total Divas. They were good. I have watched uh, this week's Ride Along. That was also good. Um, I watched all episodes of WWE Table for Three and all episodes of WWE Superstar Inc. Both those were good. Definitely worth a watch and definitely worth to go and check those out. But on with the people's review. So, on SmackDown, it was Y2J Chris Jericho versus the phenomenal one, AJ Styles, but the match didn't start. The Social Outcast came out talking, so this led to a tag team match where Chris Jericho and AJ Styles, in a fresh match, beat Social Outcasts. So, going for these here. Next week on SmackDown will be the Beast Incarnate. The Conqueror, Brock Lesnar. So that was absolutely huge. The Dudley Boys came out talking. Uh, there was tables in the ring and they talked about being a nostalgia act and it was all about tables and it wasn't about them. Um, so let's, let's continue with the heel turn. It was then in a fresh match, the boss, Sasha Banks, taken on her former best friend, Naomi. Uh, Becky Lynch was on commentary. Sasha Banks won this match, so going for Sasha here, and it builds momentum for her heading to WWE Fast Lane. The Wyatt family came out talking, so Bray Wyatt, Luke Harper, Eric Rowan, and Braun Strowman. Not much to be said here. It was then a six man tag team match. The High Flying Neville and United States Champion Kalisto and the High Flying Sin Cara. Good to see Sin Cara back on SmackDown. Beat Stardust and Ascension. Coming for these, not much to be said, as it was a rematch. And in the main event, a big match, Y2J, the Alatola of rock and roller, Chris Jericho, meet former TNA champion, the phenomenal one, AJ Styles. So big win for AJ here. Like I said, that was a good match. Um, I do think they're going to add another match to Fastlane. It's probably going to be Chris Jericho versus AJ Styles once again at Fastlane. Um, but overall, it was a good smackdown, and I give it 
six Brambles out of ten. Next week on Spike we've got the Beast, Brock Lesnar. I will be doing my Raw Superstar review as well as my NXT and main event review, a Smackdown review and a Fastlane preview. So check all those out. Lay a subscription on that like button and subscribe. Because you guys are cool. You guys are awesome. Team Bring It Worldwide. You either Team Bring It or you get rock bottomed. If you're some now, the rock. It's cooking.